I'm gonna pull against you. should never go anywhere. They're locked in there. Tabs are at the back, which I think is where they go. Still waiting on brakes, so I don't have the right spacers to put in the front. But I got handlebars we can do. Oh yeah. Let's get to fit. I think I get some hardware on there and suck it up, it'll be fine. Yep. See, I don't like how big that is though. That overlaps. Mm. I'm sure Rep probably never had anything, but I need to find something for three eighths. It's a little bit of smaller OG. Three eighths washers. There's enough slop on them. It goes with any size. This is a three eighths bolt. That's three eighths washer. There's slop. That's fine. If you don't want there to be as much slop, it always seems the next size down would be five sixteenths. It will still fit, even the shoulder part, but it's smaller. Mm -hmm. You can always use one size less on flat washers. It does not apply for your box. That's okay. a 5 sixteenths lock. But we just saw a 5 sixteenths flat washer fit on there, but that won't. And you have to go to the actual size for these. Tried the 5 sixteenths, that's what I showed you on the handlebars. And it stuck out past the edge of the fork. So, went over to the metrics. I think I'm at an M10 right now. Smaller OD, but it still fits over the 3 eighths. It shouldn't hang past me. Pretty much flush. It's not the prettiest thing to do in the world, but it helps preserve. That's just better. Could use lock nuts, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use what I got. Tighten those up. And so the brake, when I got this originally, the brake was on this side. He had the tab on this side. But if you pay attention, because at Black Widow, there's all the schematics for this shit. Yeah. The brake should be on the left side, so like the driver's side. Mm -hmm. So I switch those around. And it kind of makes sense because when you do that, the tabs that hold the springs are both going to be in the back then. There's a tab on the top and there's a tab on the bottom. Sure. It, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, That way your ugly tabs aren't spacing in the front. It doesn't look terrible, but I didn't know if you were filming all that. Anyway. I, I I am. Okay. I didn't get the very beginning when you were talking about this tab on the brake but and this is just try to get it even it can be kind of awkward and clumsy but yeah because right now it's kind of going down by hand
Maybe it won't matter, I don't know. Get on that. For a rattle can paint job, it's not terrible. It looks good. Can we name it Purple Nurple? that so I can have the tabs in the bag. It shouldn't fall out, period, because by the time I tie them with an axle, they should never turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. there's a little bit of this. I could have technically tightened that more, but then your axle holes won't align. So I'd have to go a whole nother turn to get them tighter against the springs. I'm telling you, I don't think it was ever that tight to begin with. Yeah. Well, someone over tightened the shit out of the other springs. You saw how they're splayed at the ends. Yeah, they're kind of fucked up. Rep mini bikes live on. Yeah. I think Jim has a lot to do with that. There's a lot of people interested in them at Black Widow Motorsports. Oh. the guy I'm getting all these parts from. He He's remanufacturing all this stuff. Really? Just yeah. himself? Well, he's having like people company to do it. Yeah. But they got to be like close pretty. to Rep's bag. Yeah. The only difference, if you really look at these from a rep one, is how they brace this. It comes farther away from the handlebars on a true rep one, so like uh, Mickey and Minnie both have the original rep brake levers. Mm -hmm. They come farther away, and the webbing doesn't do a triangle like this. It just is extra, like, I don't know, quarter inch wide, and it comes all the way to the top. It doesn't just stop right before the top. So. Figner sent me something. So I'm on the Rupp page on Facebook. It was an interview with Mickey Rupp. Oh. He got some sort of a lifetime achievement award for all he's done in his life. And he talks about from being a boy all the way. And I think Mickey died. Mickey, if he's not, I think he did die. But it's just been like in the last year or so. Oh, really? He may still be alive, but it's, it's pretty cool. He's Flowing P-51s and the Reno Air Races. I knew he was a big dick back in the day. He's, he's raced in Indianapolis. I mean, <laughs> crazy shit. He was in the boats too, wasn't he? Yep. Big in the marine shit. He's made some shit for his, and this is how all of his business started. He made shit for himself, took it out, people saw it, and like, wow, I, could you make me? Because it, it started rough. The mini bike business started with making go karts first. Quality in motion. Huh? Quality in motion. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. All the NOS stuff yeah. is quality in motion. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, it started with go karts and then mini bikes and, yeah, and snowmobiles. And, <laughs> yeah. I can show you a cool trick about putting grips on. That would be worth filming. Oh, yeah, for sure. Dad taught it to me, so. <laughs> Fred taught it to me. Fred taught you that one? Yep. Give me one second to finish this up, kind of. There you go. Yeah, these are all way, way inward right now. I'll just leave that loose. Let's see, I used what range this one. Quick trick on how to put grips on. You can try to push them on. You can try to use soap, but that's just dumb. Air. Most of them have a little hole here. The idea being you inflate it, and there's an air gap. Oh, 
fuck, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, up your own wall. Try to do this. A little bit of gap helps. A little layer in there. Okay, I see the parameter. The idea is you're trying to fl inflate this. Yep. Now you probably want to get that the other one. Is that rubber is broke on there. In there. Okay. The screwdriver and lift it up. It's to hang off of the handlebar. Okay. It's trust me. So it has to hang off the handlebar because if it doesn't, the end of this rubber will. Rub on that. Rub on it and you'll stay full throttle. Okay. That doesn't mean I still have to shorten that a little bit. And did you look at mine? Because otherwise you could bitch the gym. I use this. Are these the same as mine? I didn't check that. It looks like exact same. Other than they the look the same, but are they the same way? Well, I know that. I didn't check that. See, that's how I left mine like that. I never notice it. Yeah. You will never notice it on the bike. I'm not wiping the tubes off. I wouldn't do it, because I'm telling you. I'll leave it hanging off, but I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to shorten then, it up. Then I'm going to shorten it up so where the rubber butts up against this. Then, then this is going to, everything's got to slide that way, and it affects a lot of stuff. That's how Mickey Rupp did it. I'd put it back the way Mickey Rupp had it. That's how these were when I took them apart. Your call. Up here, I'll make sure the rubber doesn't rub against the side of the twist grip because that would also cause it to hang up, right? No, because it moves up along this one. Yeah, yeah, it will. So as long as there's a small gap there. Your mini bike. It's a kind of way of saying don't be dumb. Yep. No sense in reinventing the wheel. Is it on there all the way now? Why did I put that fuck on there? Oh, yeah, fuck, I think you got it on. Feel it in the very end. Did you use air to get it that far? Somewhat. I don't think it is. Hey. Well, fuck, I can't move it. It's clear out here to this end. There's no fucking play. Thank you. The right angle ones work better for that, but it's right there. Yeah. Satisfied? For now. Is it on there far yeah, enough for you? So. Huh? I think so. <laughs> I don't think you get it on any further. Anyways, did you show him on film the premise of how yep. that works? Yeah, it looked like Jack and <laughs> bullshit. It looked terrible. It, well, you get the it's idea. It's when you're sitting on the bike doing it, because yeah. you can sit on it and have your hand out here in the air. You can have these cocked on one side so it's not fighting you the whole fucking time. Yeah, because it's loose. If I remember right, this all comes apart anyway to get a throttle cable in here, right? Yeah. 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 So if I take this apart and put this on here, it's pointless as far. If I put these on the bars right now, just for mocking up. Oh, what? You That's, would? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, the only thing you have to take apart is the two clamshells. Okay. So I can put the grip on that. Mm-hmm. And that same method works good for getting those grips off. Bone them. Pulling it off. See, I did dumb shit. I, I did all kinds of things. I remember finally asked Fred what he did. Mm -hmm. And he showed me, I'm like, fuck. That's a capital idea. Because I used to use soap. Yeah. But that soap takes forever to dry. And if you go for a ride, you hit a sudden bump. Gone. That fucker popped right off. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? They're clearly outside the grips and you get maximum grip yeah. without fucking with that ball. All I did there was just mock, mock it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just getting them on there so then yeah. I can't go from there. Perfectly round piece like that. You one. want me to blow? Sure. You need it in there? It works best if you can kind of get in there a little bit. Right. Now remember the other thing, we're losing air out the end. Yeah. 
We'll see how it works. Just like that. It's clear the end, isn't it? Yep, I'm satisfied. Now, so I was pretty anal about on your final assembly. Mm -hmm. Making sure that's... Super thin grease, coat of grease oh. on both sides of this. Did you file the rough edges off? <clears throat> no, because there's... <clears throat> but I made sure it worked darn good in here. Just put... I think I even might have used the, the white. Just super thin. Okay. Didn't do any filing. The other thing is make sure your rup cable will fit in there. That might I didn't buy it. a rup cable for that intention. Okay, that was wise. I'm gonna, but I, did you get all that shit from Jim? Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Yeah. McCunies have their own ball style, and it's a barrel. Yep. Agreed. Yeah, so you can't use a rep cable for them, because I don't know how to change the balls on the end. Yeah. So, I found somewhere, when I did the 22 millimeter conversions on mm -hmm. Hornet, mm -hmm. and then the other one, yep. Black Widow. Yeah. Wherever I ordered those cables, they work. Yeah. Just by the hair of their chinny chin chin, they work, but, but, but they will work in this from rep? This piece did. Amazing. Because rups are notorious for having big ends on them. Well, this is all repop shit. And he says that. This is not NOS rub. That's why it's got... I get it, but so the cables he sells, he must have... He must have newer style cables with smaller ends. Well, he must order them that way because this is the only twist he can get. Yeah. See, that's why I didn't get all that shit from Rupp because I knew I had... Like, all my twists came from OMB. Yeah. So... But yours looks identical to OMB. I'm telling you, they're selling the same shit. Yeah. Except he's actually cheaper for once. That's what you're saying. So... Yeah. And I ended up bringing mine out, out on the barge where it was happy. But I did take 4 out steel wool and I polished the fuck out of shit. And... Like, I might even put a little lube on the inside, because I ran into that deal, too. I see that. Yep. Show the rib on there. Mm-hmm. Just out of curiosity, let's see. What board is that? It's supposed to be 7 eight. Yep. Oh, there's, there's a lot of choices. So be careful as we show It's a comfortable 7.8s. It's pretty comfortable. Too big. You know, sometimes you can deburr them with a, a, a drill bit. Yeah. Yeah. Or if we should uh, take this ball. back off. Yeah. Deeper the fuck out of it. Yeah. Yeah, see, these are the little issues I ran into that really slow you down. Mm -hmm. 